question. I was involved in an accident uh, and where a, I, was, I was driving in my neighborhood on my motorcycle, and uh, one of the children in the neighborhood, a six-year-old boy, uh, was on an ATV, and he cut across my path, and I could not dodge him, and I uh, hit him with my motorcycle. Uh, what would you suggest that I do? Should I go to my insurance company first because I'm insured, or should I go to an attorney? Okay. All right. What do you think? Well, uh, unless you're getting sued, I, I wouldn't go to an attorney yet. I'd turn that into my insurance company. But, you know, a couple of thoughts come to mind. Did you, did you, if you said six-year-old, I wasn't sure you said that. Yes. But if that's Thank true, you, yeah. mm -hmm. the parents uh, are probably going to be obligated for that because he is totally incompetent to be on any kind of vehicle. And under the law, if you own something and you give the keys to an incompetent, right. you can be liable. Yeah. Yeah. And always put your insurance company on notice of any accident, whether you're, <clears throat> uh, whether you're the one that's, uh, that's to cause the accident or you're the one that got hit, uh, because there are times when if you don't put them on, there's some things in the contract. If you don't put them on notice, uh, they could deny coverage for you mm -hmm. down the road, and that could include an attorney uh, to defend your rights. So. Uh, always, everybody out there, all, all viewers, just if you're in an accident, be sure to put your insurance company on notice. Okay. Plus, Ken, under his insurance policy, they provide the lawyer, so That's you, right. you didn't right. really have to call a lawyer. That's right. All right, good information tonight.